So what we'll be doing is we'll be playing an open A string. And then with your pinky, we're going to go to your third string, fifth fret, which would be the C. And you'll be playing alternating. You'll be playing A, C, A, C, like this. So it'll be A, C, A, C. And then we're still going to be playing the open A string. But this time, we'll be putting our ring finger on the fourth fret, third string, which will be your B. So it'll be A, B. So these two parts combined together would be With your index finger, we're going to put it on the third string, second fret, and this would be your A. So now you'll be playing both A's. Open A string and your A on your second fret, third string. But you'll be playing these together. Your first part would sound like this. Now, the second time you play this, because you play this twice, what you'll be doing is you'll be playing your, you'll be playing an open G string. So your first part would sound like this. For the second part of this intro, we'll be placing our middle finger on our 5th string, 3rd fret, which would be your C. And then we'll be placing our pinky finger on your 4th string, 5th fret, which would be your G. And this will be played like this. Keeping our middle finger on our 5th string, 3rd fret, which would be your C. Next, we'll be, playing, we'll be using our index finger. And we'll be playing it on our 4th string, 3rd fret, which would be your F. Keeping our middle finger on our 5th string, 3rd fret, which would be your C, we'll be taking our index finger, placing it on our 4th string, 2nd fret, which would be your E. And we'll be playing these together. So the second part of the intro would sound like this. A little slower. So when you combine these two together, it will sound like this. So playing this slower, it would be like this. Thank you. 